Hey Clear Lake peeps, Ross England here with Clear Lake Guide Service with a report for Clear Lake. Today's date, September 5, 2024. So bear with me, my voice is kind of going in, going out, so it's going to be all over the place. Uh, I'm going to change the format today just a little bit. One of the things that I did, this is the beginning of what I, <laughs> in golf, they call it the silly season here. I'm just going to call it the the busy season on Clear Lake. And uh, for any of you that are planning trips to come, have already planned a trip, all this is designed to do is give you an idea of the impact and what size, you know, what's going to be going on on the upcoming weekends. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the activities, then I'll go into conditions report. So I had to bring my, my book out to be able to keep it all straight for you folks. So this week, as I told you before, there is a Bob's Marine team, team event, which won't be a very big event. Um, as far as I know, it's still going, and typically it will go out of Canocti Vista Casino. So that event is for Saturday, Sunday, the 7th and the 8th. Um, believe it or not, I don't have anything written down as far as a permit for September 14th or 15th. So it appears that that's probably an open weekend. Then September uh, 20th, 21st, and 22nd, you have a new gen team championship. I don't think it's three days, but typically they just pull a permit for, for three days. So I'm guessing that's a Saturday, Sunday event, but it's that weekend anyway. So, and that'll probably be a pretty good size event. Then you have the following weekend the last weekend of the month, September 27th, 8th, and 9th, ABA has a permit pulled for their team championship. And typically their tournament does start on Friday and runs Friday, Saturday. So that wraps up September. And then the first weekend of October, which is the following weekend, 4th, 5th, and 6th, I have a Bass Angler Magazine Pro-Am Championship. So you've got, a, you've got a pretty good stack of events coming up. One, two, three, four, five, four, four pretty good size events out of five weekends. Then you don't really have anything in October until an event from New Gen the end of the month. So. That kind of covers the schedule. Again, there could be changes, but to the best of my knowledge, that's what I see as far as upcoming events. Usually Clear Lake, you know, is uh, when you get into the fall, it gets pretty crazy up here. You're okay during the week, but those weekends can be something, something else. So, okay, now let's move into conditions. Lake level is at 2.95 as of right now. It's dropped about 0.2, didn't even make a quarter of a foot drop this week. It was just 0.20. So haven't, you know, um, I ran around quite a bit on the upper end of the lake because I just haven't been doing it today. And I didn't have any trouble getting in anywhere I wanted to go in. So um, it's really not an issue yet think it's going to be good for you know another month or so water let's see let's go to water clarity it was pretty much the same wherever I was and again this is a really small sampling I don't know how useful any of this information is going to be to you folks but we'll just say on the upper end of the lake above the narrows today um, I saw the cleanest water was maybe a foot and a half. Most of it was about a foot. Uh, I didn't see any algae anywhere that I was. 
So the lake was pretty darn clean and pretty easy to fish from that perspective. Uh, I did find some weeds here and there, but you know, it's, they're just not massive weed beds. They're kind of scattered, at least from what I am seeing. So what the water temperature, you know, what the water clarity looks like around the lake, down below the narrows. And when I was out last week, the narrows area looked fine. It was once you started dipping down into the red bud arm and also down into the um, Clear Lake Oaks arm that you started seeing some buildup of algae. Temperature started out this morning. Uh, I'm sitting here in the slough where the state park launch ramp is. This is where I launched today and where I'm ending up. Shade feels good. Uh, one of the advantages of being a geezer is you can buy a geezer pass from the state parks for 20 bucks. And you're excluded from using it between Memorial Day and Labor Day, but outside that window, then you only have to pay five bucks to launch your boat. So because I live so close to the state park, it's a real fun option for me because there just usually isn't anybody here at the state park. So that's where I launched today. The launch ramp, water temp, 73 and change. We'll call it 73 and a half. Warmest that I saw was 78.4. I'm sure it's warmer elsewhere, but that's just a good sampling just in this upper upper end that I fished. Um, you know, I think I said last week, or not last week, but the last uh, report, the fishing is starting to feel very fall-like and these fish are acting very fall-like. We had two good days last week, good numbers, uh, actually pretty good numbers, a little bit less on the, the you know better keeper fish. Those are few and far between, but we've been able to scratch out a limit. Today is the same story. Quite a few fish actually had a really good day, a fun day, kind of what I'm used to clear like being. And uh, our biggest fish was five and three quarters with a couple of fours that went with it. Um, <laughs> news flash, I had one fish today on soft plastic. So there's a pretty good bite if I can just bum around with some uh, reaction baits and get bit. Now granted there was a lot of small fish in that, but by smaller fish, what I noticed was at least from a per this doesn't apply to tournament anglers at all because for the most part they're not going to care but for the rest of us 10 and 11 inch fish are a lot of fun and most of the fish that i caught today with the exception of the very last one were in that 10 to 11 inch range really good look for the future uh, but again i did have a pretty decent limit of fish not by you know press standards but by my own standards anytime that I can bust 20 pounds I'm feeling like I had a very good day it's just hard to do that anywhere else that's why we fish here that's why some of us live here so that was it you know had had a good day weather's nice I think I'll probably be able to put out a report for next week again we'll see how that goes so anyway we'll uh, catch you i think i've covered all the bases so we'll catch you next time hope you enjoyed and had a really good safe labor day weekend